my fellow world citizens, more supporting truth of the 9-11 attack against the United States of America, which was a remote controlled hijacking military coup for the annexation of the United States of America by the United European Monarchy to be a hyperpower. Ever wondered why President Bush selected an isolated Florida key for his paid goat leading on September 10, 2001, instead of Chicago or Michigan, St. Louis or New York suburb? Well, Jeb Bush, then Florida governor, and his brother had full knowledge of the upcoming military coup on 9-11-2001, along with his father and ex-president George Henry Walker Bush. They unitedly wanted to save their son and brother from the upcoming military coup and the wrath, just in case. That's why they protected him in the Floyd AK with all the military power and the policy. Did you know on September 10, 2001, then President George Bush guarded his resort in Florida against possible military attack. He had kept citizens in the dark. Related article, New Pearl Harbor. Quote, overnight, snipers and surface-to-air missiles were located on the roof of the colony, beach and tennis resort, and adjacent structures to protect the president. The Coast Guard and the Longboat Key Police Department manned boats that patrolled the surf in the front of the resort all night. Security trucks with enough men and arms to stop a small army parked right on the beach. An airborne warning and control system, AWACS plane circled high overhead in the clear night sky." Unquote. Salmon, 2002, PP 13 and 25. Sarasota Herald Tribune, 9-10-2002. Yet President Bush didn't alert the nation about the upcoming grave danger from enemy within, or Pentagon couldn't fire a missile, and CIA, FBI, FEMA planes and helicopters couldn't rescue helpless, desperate victims from above crash lines of the WTC towers, as well as the military brasses of the Pentagon. Ironically, CIA airlifted Al-Qaeda militants from Kosovo few weeks before teaching the world about what real Al-Qaeda is all about. Related article, what is Al-Qaeda? And what was the royalty for the loyal coup towards re-annexation of USA militarily as well to make the United NATO monarchy hyperpower? On September 10, 2001, day before 9-11, then Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld admitted about $2.3 trillion missing from Pentagon Fund, reported by CBS. Was there any backup option if the remote military hijacking and related destruction failed? Related article, anthrax attack. On September 11, 2001, quote, the White House staff including then President George Bush, went on a regiment of the antibiotic Cipro to ward off anthrax, unquote, which suggests anthrax attack was the backup process. If remote hijacking failed, because PR-92 of New York City had hundreds of people from FEMA, from the federal government, from the state, from the state emergency management office, preparing for a drill for biochemical attack on September 12, 2001. Did you know that George Bush was on the president during 
the unconstitutional shadow government COG in existence since 1980 beginning with the Reagan Bush administration where Cheney, Richard Clark and Rumsfeld were regulars took over command and Cheney and Clark were making all the decisions during 9-11 attack against the United States of America. That is why President Bush and Colin Powell's phones were jammed throughout 9-11 saga and Bush didn't know what he would do after the paid goat reading in Florida except whirling around in the sky and going to Bugsdale Air Force Base to be baptized in the Bill Laden story and future war on terror. Probably that's why Bush was eager to invite Iraq, saying, quote, when you are going after Iraq, unquote, day after 9-11, when the fire in Pentagon and WTC is still burning, and people, including men and women in uniform, desperately waiting to be rescued beneath the rubbles of the hot melted steel. My fellow Americans, both President George W. Bush and Barack Obama betrayed Americans without investigating the 9-11 attack against the United States of America, which was a product of massive treasons in many levels of government, agencies, intelligence, and secret societies. Without investigation, these people are terrorizing not only USA and the world, and making our world very vulnerable and dangerous day by day. Please stand tall for the truth and ask for government for a full public investigation. God bless America. God bless the world towards peaceful coexistence in democratic plurality.